can you wear a tweed jacket and vest to a wedding? Can you wear a tweed jacket and vest to a wedding or at a wedding? We kind of addressed, what I did think, we address earlier? Um, we Yeah, we touched on this earlier. I think what it comes down to is if you're a guest, it's probably a really safe bet. You'll look good no matter what the uh, level of formality of the, of the wedding is um, a lot of the time. Outside of if it if it is explicitly said, it, the majority of weddings today do not explicitly say black tie only. If it does say that, then no, tweed wouldn't be appropriate because it's not right. black tie. Most weddings are not like that. Though. But most weddings, like that's probably yeah. 1%. Yeah. Um, most evening, weddings evening are... Evening weddings are more likely. Like if you're doing an evening formal church wedding, I think because they're during the day in this country most of the time, you know, early afternoon or in the morning, it's... Uh, it's a l even less likely it's going to be a black tie kind of thing. Yeah, so. it, as, as a movement in culture, in the U.S. especially, and we're speaking from experience there, but in the U.K. as well, um, there's a lot of, it, it's casualing down, I won't say dumbing down, but casualing down or, you know, lowering the standards for what is formal or dress or formally dressed or dressy cash or whatever. It's it's the blurring of the lines. You know, yep. you don't see guys in suits every day in the office. You don't see women in formal gowns at every single wedding. It's a much more casual approach to life, a much mm -hmm. more comfortable approach to life. Um, therefore, the, the level of formality has kind of followed suit. So because we take what we are used to and want to do and bring that to our wedding, and as more people do that, it's kind of what happens. Yeah, and uh, as you've you, as you've said before, tweed is the new black. Um, so that's the take on tweeds. If you're a guest, if you're in the wedding party or something, then of course it's going to depend on the theme <coughs> of the wedding. So if they've all said wear black and you show up in a tweed jacket, you're going to look like a jerk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the other thing we've said before is as the pipe bands go, you know that goes the trends. Mm -hmm. So about. Five to ten years ago, pipe bands started, grade one bands in Scotland, started wearing tweeds. They started wearing tweed jackets and vests and kind of yeah. abandoning the Argyle to a small degree. As as the, the jackets that they've worn from the nine, 80s and 90s kind of end their life of usefulness because they use them all the time and sweating out in the hot sun um, and they have to refresh the kit, um, a lot of bands have started going to tweed. And as people start seeing that and it becomes the norm for pipe bands over there. It travels over to the U S for pipe bands. And it also kind of gets translated into the wedding scene. Right. So for the past eight years or so in Scotland, the trend, the trend before that was black kilts, black jacket, trendy black kilts, black jackets, blackout sporins, yeah. just the minimalist kind of look. Mm -hmm. um, and then, from there, it kind of moved into weathereds and more earthy tones. And what better to match earthy tones than a tweed, an earthy type of fabric? So that's kind of the, the recent current trend is tweeds and that kind of thing. And not just in Highland wear, in you know, culture-wide. I mean, the Downton Abbey effect um, yeah. and wanting yeah. the, 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 the Heberdeen tweeds and you know the, that kind of thing, the Harris tweeds. Um, and it's, it takes a little while for those trends to cross the Atlantic and to kind of make their way over to here and kind of incorporate themselves into the American experience of doing this stuff. And we are also fighting in America, the mindset of black is formal, must wear black, black hose, black jacket, must only be black, but it's shifting slowly. And we're starting to see more and more tweeds worn for weddings, um, and it's also a more versatile thing because you can wear it outside of the wedding. So there's the practicality angle as well. Yeah. Yep. There you go. So that's it. Done. Oh, that was short. That was, was a good one. <laughs> Concise. Was it? Um, <clears throat> can do like two more maybe? Yeah, do a couple more. Okay. Let's try them. Uh, one quick note on black tie only. Um, when my brother got married, the one where I did wear my kilt, I said, you know, what's what's the you know, how dressed up are people going to be? Yeah. Uh, and he told me several times, he's like, yeah, just black tie. And yeah, I had, people don't know. People don't he, know and what that's that means. the thing mm -hmm. is he didn't know. And so I had to stop him. Like, I only know this cause I, you know, have had to work with this for a living. I was like, black tie is like tuxedos and stuff. He's like, yeah, no, not that. It's just black tie. And I was like, 
Okay. So American, you don't mean black tie. So you don't yeah. mean So I had to understand that it was kind of like American black tie, whereas like if he was like black tie and like, I was like, so you mean tuxedos? He said, yes, then. You know, if I'm going to wear my yeah. kilt, I better have my Prince Charlie. And, and you know, yeah, what he, I'll, what, I'll he means this, is, what he means is business. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. He meant suit. Yeah. And I'll point this out as well. Um, a lot of people getting married aren't experienced in black tie events. When they say black yeah. tie, they just kind of think of it as a phrase because they haven't been to many black tie events mm-hmm. because they're in their mid 20s. It's not like right. they're, you know, St. Andrews or, you know, uh, or go to a lot of black tie things. So they may be using the phrase wrong. Right. So you may want to actually, you know, check a little bit into that as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good point. Yeah. Very good point. Thanks. Not a problem. Mm-hmm.